All right, I'm doing a video for Gates of Redmond Apartments. Uh, this is concrete repair. And I'm at, let's see, uh, the shop is at the back of the property. Uh, this out here is the entrance to the property. So if you come in and it splits off to the right and left, if you go to the left and drive all the way down and you come around the corner to building I, that would be right here. So you come focus here. Oh, geez, hold on. There we go. So you come back around the corner and you're at building I. And if you go through this carport at stall 152 and stall 153, you've got about a, uh, it's about a nine foot clearance to the top here. I'm saying that because we probably need an excavator to come in here, but we need to replace this concrete right behind the curbing and then go a foot past this joint and saw cut they said that we just they just want a saw cut right here we'll take all this out that is a 4 by 19 let me look at my measurements here okay so we got a 4 by 19 here 5 inch depth okay cut this out 4 by 19 and then you've got these steps here that we need to take out and replace, as well as do a saw cut right here on the edge of the concrete. Saw cut right at the edge of the concrete here. And uh, let me get a view from back here. So we need to take out these steps. It's got two handrails. These measurements uh, are, let's see, the 19 by four is at the top. These steps right here are four feet by eight feet. And it looks like I was doing some digging and each step is about 12 inches. Okay, so it goes 12 inches and then that even goes a little bit more than 12, but it's pretty close. You can see I dug into it, but we want to just figure 12 inches on this. So we have to rip that out. This pad down here, the bottom is a three foot by eight foot in this section right here. There's a drain right there, so I have a feeling they, uh, they might have tied in to something, maybe this pipe here, and got it to drain over there. I don't know. But we need to salvage that railing and put it back in. So there's, like I said, 12 inch steps here. Needs to come out. They want to get this done, like right away. It's, it's a problem because it's crumbling. Okay. Um, so five inch depth on this. 12 inch on that, five inch on the uh, three by eight down there. These are the dimensions. Okay. And it's exposed aggregate on here. I asked if we could do like a broom finish on it, but everything else is exposed aggregate. Okay. Um, might need to figure a little bit of restoration in here. Uh, on the grass area right there, we might need to plant a little bit of seed. There's your clearance right here at the sidewalk. I can, I can touch it, so I know that's probably about seven foot, a little over seven feet right there. So it becomes kind of tight in that area and in at that beam uh, for the excavator. But I think we might be able to make that clearance. Okay. Then you come up here, up to the next building, which uh, which is right next door, next door to building I here. And you've got a little bit of damage here on the sidewalk. It's starting to crumble. So we'll do this panel right here. That's a seven by four on the radius, seven by four from joint to joint here. Okay. At this building, Let me, uh, back up so you can see it a little bit better. No height clearance here. Uh, at stall 160, you got an opening right here for access to it. Okay, so there's the stairwell down there. And then we've got this little concrete sidewalk to fix here too. Okay, for staging, we can use parking here on the outskirts, on the perimeter here. They're, it's not reserved parking. So we can use all of this down here if we need to. Okay, any other questions, let me know. 